What's going on with y'all? So what I want to do is I want to check out my weekly recap because I find a few things interesting. And I'm not only doing this for my viewers. I also reached out to a company. We're not going to get too deep into it. But I'm having good vibes that once they come back from SHOT Show, that we're going to have our biggest review to date. So let's keep our fingers crossed. So I'm also pitching myself to this optic company that I reached out to also at the same time. So let's get to business. <clears throat> 4,800 people tuned into my channel this week. I think that's a good number for my channel. You know, everything that I'm putting out, we're doing everything on our own. I think that's a good number. 4,800 people tuned into my channel. I think that's good. So most of my people find me through the shorts. So any review that i do from now on regardless of what it is we're going to do a lot of shorts a lot of youtube shorts and we're going to let the youtube shorts push everything back to the main video so let's say it's, it's an unboxing of an optic we'll do a lot of youtube shorts maybe showing just the box hey we got this new optic right here and just show the box the next video we go ahead and take it out of the box. You know what I'm saying? A lot of little YouTube shorts to push everything back to the main video, which will be the unboxing. So, looking at that, I see that <clears throat> I need to do a lot of shorts to push everything back to my main videos. Second is YouTube search. So, what that means is a lot of people putting into their YouTube search a specific item. And it's popping up with my channel up underneath of it, which is good. So when I title my videos, I need to make them more YouTube search friendly. It need to be just whatever it is I'm reviewing. And that's it. No kind of extra stuff. Make everything kind of streamlined and make it more easy to find within the YouTube search algorithm. Now the third one is external. I really don't know what they mean by external is people like putting a specific item in a Google search and then my video will pop up you know what I'm saying so I don't really understand what the external portion of it is but let's keep on moving on you see what the second video is vortex crossfire three to nine now let me tell you something about that video that was like when I first started doing YouTube all that was was just a five minute video just kind of unboxing it and they got 10,000 plus views and still getting views to this day. So the company that I reached out to, Optics is my selling point and that's what I really get a lot of views on is Optics. Because if, if they actually show more than just the top three, I'm pretty sure that Vortex Spitfire is up there and that Vortex Strike Eagle is up there too. So, But as you can see, my second most viewed video in the past week is an Optic review that I did three years ago. And that was just when I first started. And the crazy thing is about that optic, all I did was just unbox it. I put that on a 308 bolt action to sell up and end up selling that 308 bolt action and use that money to get my AR 308. So I never even took that optic to the range. And it still got 10,000 views. So that says a lot. Let's keep on moving. 150 likes, 10 shares, 7 comments. That's okay. 150 likes. That's good. Now, this is what I really found interesting. Only 8% of people watch my videos on TV. And I guess I find that interesting because I'm a gamer, so I have a PS4. So I actually watch YouTube on TV. So what this telling me that a lot of people either watching this on a computer or more than likely they watching it on their phone. And if people watching on their phone, then I kind of need to keep my videos really, really short and kind of get straight to the point. Because when people on their phone, they kind of want that quick, fast, and in a hurry. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll try to keep all our minutes, all our videos between five to seven minutes. And that's basically it. I just want to kind of chime in and do a little self-promotion too. I mean, I'm a go-getter. I'm just not going to sit back and just hope for the best. I'm going to kind of pitch myself as a salesman. But yeah. Just wanted to show y'all that man. Optic reviews is really my selling point. It's crazy. That video is still getting views to this day. But yeah man. Y'all be blessed. Be safe. I'm out. Hopefully we got some good things coming. Let's see what happens.